Well, hello there, and welcome to The Daily Word with Energy Gale. I'm so blessed to have you here with me. So I have my Be Kind t-shirt on. It's my $3 special from Walmart, and it's so soft, and I love it. And so today, I thought that I would talk about, remember that phrase that was going around over 2019, 2021, and it's still there. It's in a world where you can be anything. Be kind. And I think that it's a small phrase for such a big concept that literally is foundational to building a uh, structure that is going to survive. You know, so many things in the world out there are falling apart and it's because they're not rooted and established in love. And in this space where you can be anything, be kind, is such a love vibration. The acts, the relationships, the projects that we um, are uh, undergoing, when they are rooted and established in love, in a be kind, in a generosity, and a gentleness and a tenderness, these things survive. Now, I, I wanna talk about the difference between being kind and trying to be kind. See, when you try to be kind, you're still all up in here, trying to justify why even though that person sucks, you're still gonna be kind to them. It's a little bit condescending. That's not the kindest, kindest, that's, (laughs) I'm not even gonna edit that. That's not the kind of kindness I'm talking about. I'm talking about a kindness that comes from here from an acknowledgement that, there's a phrase I just heard a little while ago that was so good, it says, walk long enough and you will find yourself in somebody else's shoes. You'll find yourself experiencing what they're experiencing. And what I think that means is, is that when you continue your life long enough, you'll realize that you needed someone to be kind to you. And so you give kindness not because somebody deserves it or because you're condescendingly being the bigger person, but you are flowing in a vibration of kindness because it's who you are at your core. You're a love being and love beings sprout love just like peach trees sprout sprout peaches. What I'm trying to say is, is there somebody in your life? It could be you, it could be a parent, It could be an ex-lover. It could be one of your children, a friend, someone from high school. Is there a situation or person with whom you have yet to show kindness? You have withheld that kindness because they haven't quite deserved it yet. I would encourage you to allow yourself to remember a time when you are on the receiving end of someone else's kindness. And maybe it was gracious. Maybe it wasn't quite so deserved on your end. And yet you were met with kindness anyway. How did that make you feel? So what I would encourage you to do is just allow yourself to breathe into that space of grace, of gentleness, of kindness, and allow that to permeate every part of you, almost like you're eating it and it becomes a part of your cellular makeup, because actually it is. I want to encourage you that we are discovering, remembering, and then being who we are and who we are is love. Who we are is kindness. We are kind. It's who we are. When we are not kind, we're not living as our true beings because we have forgotten. So my name is Energy Gal and I love to um, help people on their journeys. So if I can be of assistance, check in with uh, any of the links below 
And in the meantime, if you enjoy this content, I sure would appreciate a subscribe, like, comment, and share because it helps the algorithm of this channel become more known. And I really want the word out that we are creator beings who have the potential to wake up and remember who we are as love and light and rock this world in the name of love. So over and out. I'll see you tomorrow. In the meantime, take really good care of yourself because you're pretty awesome.